<laughs> Sorry. I should probably do some crowd work to reset the room, but I'm never very good at crowd work. You know, I, I'm terrible at it. You know, my crowd work's like, oh, you look like you're here tonight. <laughs> oh, not mistaken. <laughs> terrible. Uh, so yeah, I saw a sign recently. It said uh, 24 hour cash withdrawal. I was like, yes, I do have that. <laughs> you give me something for that. <laughs> I'm trying to give up money. That's my new thing. I'm trying to quit money. But it's like anything, you know, when you get into something, and then you try and quit, everyone tries to get you back in, you know? So every now and again, I get a call from my landlord. <laughs> I was like, uh, hey, do you have any of that, um, just ask him for a friend. Do you have any more of that, uh, that money? <laughs> Some friend you are, landlord. <laughs> if that is your friend. Right? I realized the other day, uh, I'm quite pretentious. And I realized this because I would only go and see the most pretentious sounding art films at the cinema, right? So you, it makes it difficult to have friends because you like, you know, your friends are like, do you want to go and see the new Batman film? And I'm like, oh no, sorry, I'm going to go and see Vicious Bestiality. <laughs> it's a Danish horror pornography film. I'm sure you don't want to come, it's described as confusing and not finished, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two tickets just for me. <laughs> no, no, I don't think we'll make it. Uh, maybe we can go and see the new Marvel film, though, later in the week. And I'm like, no, sorry, I've got tickets for The Moon Wore My Father's Hat. <laughs> It's a Japanese animated, uh, beautiful Japanese animated uh, horror pornography. <laughs> You're not coming, it's four hours long, come on. Come on. Uh, what about this one? Uh, Russian? With Swedish subtitles? Come on. No? Just me? With a craft beer? Trying to learn Swedish on the fly? <laughs> It's not a weekend, it's my weekend, every weekend. They're like, ooh, Fort Fevlan, eh? It's gotta mean something. <laughs> uh, I'm very pretentious. Uh, I realize it as well, because I've been listening to a lot of uh, pop music. You guys like pop music? The air's catching on. <laughs> I've listened to a lot of pop music, you know, listening to it, and uh, I don't believe in uh, guilty pleasures. I just call them crimes. No. <laughs> you're listening to a lot of pop music. I've been listening to the kind of songs, you know, love songs that men write about women. The kind of songs women write about men, you know, comparing the two. And it seems to me, you know, the kind of songs women write about men, they're really beautiful. You know, they have all kinds of emotions in them. And they're on this whole journey of talking about them. This orchestral melody is really beautiful. And if it's a breakup, they're still trying to maintain that friendship unit. It's really, it's really admirable. Uh, and then you get the men's songs about women, uh, kind of like an emotional level up from an Amazon review. <laughs> like a lamp, I feel. <laughs> so if it's a positive one, it's like, yeah, you go with my stone. <laughs> Fulfilling me in every way. Three out of five stars. <laughs> maybe it's a negative song, maybe it's like, uh, it left. <laughs> wasn't in the product description. <laughs> I'm going to read some of my favorite men's songs about women. Kind of paraphrasing with the title, but I think I get it from these. Uh, so these are my favorite men's songs about women. Number one, pretty sure I won't fuck it up this time. <laughs> Number two, you like someone obviously better. But why though? <laughs> Mystery. You're my dream girl. Don't go outside. <laughs> Uh, I love that you complete me, and your tips. <laughs> uh, number five, oh, don't blame me for what my dick did. <laughs> in the brackets, though. Uh, and lastly, uh, I can't believe you don't love me after I've done literally nothing for you. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand. It's, it's, it's difficult to talk to women, I find. Uh, and, you know, sometimes they'll like text you things and they'll want to be cute, you know, and I try to be cute back, but I always fuck it up, I always get the words wrong. You know? So they'll, you know, they'll text something cute like, uh, I just stubbed my toe on the stair, you know, something really cute like that. And you want to text back like, oh, silly baby, you know. <laughs> what comes out is, uh, foolish child! <laughs> Oh, my God.
<laughs> but uh, be getting into a lot of bad habits as well. I've been uh, eating a lot of bad food, uh, watching watching a lot of uh, go to bed or kill yourself TV. <laughs> no one gets to like 4 a.m. and the TV's like, that's all the TV there is now. <laughs> you better do what you're gonna do. <laughs> Logo spinning like that. I don't know, man. <laughs> Make a choice. <laughs> Damn bad. I was considering smoking for a while as well, uh, but I'm asthmatic and it kills me just a little bit too quickly to be any fun. But I realized uh, if I did start smoking, I would smoke those long tabs, you know, long cigarettes or a cigarette tab on a stick, you know, like Audrey Hepburn and Breakfast at Tiffany's, that kind of thing. I would I would do adverts for those, I'd be so into it. <laughs> long tabs, get them while they're long, folks. <laughs> Tab on a stick, how can it kill you? <laughs> it's over there. <laughs> There's no way. <laughs> oh, that was ivory, why did they throw that away? <laughs> 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 anyway, that's me, thanks. <laughs>